So now we are actually going to take at the end of our spokes that we worked on earlier and we're going to finish them off so that our basket lays flat. Um, some pointers before we actually go into doing this is um, here's an example of a basket where the spokes were, um, they weren't quite, you know, two inches like we talked about earlier. They weren't two inches down and so they become like untucked. So if you find like in the future that this happens to yours, you can still tuck them in um, and we'll show you the method um, to do that. So we have our basket here. Um, we're going to flip it over. We're going to work with it like this most of the time. Um, and you can start at any of the spokes, doesn't matter at all. The first one, we're just gonna kind of bend down so it's flat. And then really what I do is I take the little bit that's hanging over on this side and I just kind of hold it with my other hand just to keep it there so it's not like, you know, going back and forth. Because if you do not soak your spokes long enough, um, they're probably going to want to split, which we don't want that to happen. So we want to make sure that these are super flexible. If you bend your first one and you realize that like the wood is wanting to split or it's not easily bendable, you're going to want to put that back in the bucket for a while to soak. Um, it's better to take a little while longer and have your, um, your basket turn out the right way as opposed to having a basket that comes untucked or it just kind of splits. So now that we've done that, I like to work um, going like clockwise. So if I'm looking at where I bend my first like spoke at, I'm going to take the next one. So I'm gonna take it to what would be my right. So we're just gonna take the next one and do the same thing where we fold it under and then we kind of just tuck it. So you can see then I let go of the first one that I was holding on to and now I'm holding on to the second one. So I'm gonna do this again. I bend, I hold, and then I let go. So it's a, it's a bend, move your finger, hold on to it, turn it, let go, and you just keep going like that the whole time. And see how they're tucked underneath like this? That's when you know that you're doing it the right way because they're not coming untucked. So we left enough space that it looks like we're all good. Um, and then I like to push with my hand as I go to make sure that everything is firm and in place. Um, I like to keep pressure on it just for that reason. Kind of keep it tight while the wood is still wet. And that way there's a greater chance of the wood sticking in place. So we're just gonna keep going like that. This one's a little bit shorter, you can see. If you find yourself with one short that you can't hold on to, you can always kind of just like, you know, move your hand around a little bit and you can still make it work, it'll be okay. And then you just kind of move on to the next one where you can then stick your finger back to holding down the spokes like that. We're just gonna keep going like that and push as we go, that's very important. And then you can see right here, you can see how they're all flat. Then your basket will actually, you know, be able to It'll be able to be used in all that good stuff. So we're still bending. Now we have two left, so we'll see how this works here. We're gonna take this one like usual. This one, the last one's a little bit different. We're going to bend it, and then we're going to tuck it under a spoke. So we have a little bit of space. I'm gonna aim for right here between these two. So I'm going to take this. I'm gonna hold with my other hand um, the spoke that we had before this, just kind of hold it and keep it in place in the, you know, the circle shape that we have. And then we're going to take our last one, and like I said, we're just going to kind of stick it right there, tuck it under, and then it looks a little bit weird, but it's all flat. We push it up um, against everything else to keep it like normal. And there you go. Now your basket sits flat. Now we have done the bottom of our basket. Now it is time to finish off the top. So we're going to actually take the spokes that usually would you know, be sticking up. We're going to take them upside down and kind of just soak them in our basket. And we could just set the, set the basket inside the bucket um, and then just let it soak for, I would say like five minutes or so, and then check in on it to see. Um, when you know that they're bent, um, when you know that they are ready to go is when you can bend them without um, the wood wanting to break. So we're just gonna set that in there. And while we're doing that, here's an example of um, somebody's basket where the um, wood, a few of the spokes themselves, they were not um, soaked enough. So this is kind of what to look out for. If this was my first, um, my first spoke that I was bending, see how this wood does not have like a rounded arc like this one does. It's kind of just like, it's very tight right here and bent. Th that means that the wood right here was wanting to split. So you can see that it kind of, it doesn't look normal. So that's when I would take my, um, my spoke, I would unbend it, I would set it back in the basket and I would just kind of wait a little bit. Um, again, it's, it's better to wait and have your basket turn out the right way. So patience. Alrighty, so our basket um, has been in our bucket for probably about five minutes or so. Um, and so we're going to see if it's ready. So we're just going to take our bucket, move it aside and let's see. 
So you can start again on any of the spokes that you want. I just like to pick the one that's in front of me. So we're gonna take this one right here and see how I just kind of bend it over. I just naturally bend to my left. Um, if you're right-handed, you're probably going to want to bend to your right. Um, either way, you're tucking it in the same way, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to bend it to the left. And you can see that this one is pretty good to go. Um, it doesn't seem to be giving me too much um, trouble. So we're just going to kind of take it like this. We bent it over. And then you can see I kind of bent it to the point where you can kind of have just enough to tuck it in. So to tuck our um, spoke into the reeds, we're just kind of see like an open spot so you can, when you look down on your basket like this, pick one of the spots that is open. It kind of looks like a figure eight in between. Pick like the open part of the eight. So we're just going to do that. So we're going to take our end and just kind of tuck it in there a little bit. Um, so I just stuck it in right there in the middle and it's in just enough for it to stay. So you can always move it down a little bit. I like to usually do about one or two reeds um, down just to make sure that it's not going to pop out because um, you can see this one in our other example here, it has popped out. So I just like to push it down a little bit further. Um, and then if you find that like the spoke that you are bending, um, it isn't exactly round, you can always just kind of stick your thumb in there and then push it down either finger and make it round again. So we just do it with all of those. Um, and it's the same way. This doesn't have any special way to end the basket because you're just doing the same thing over and over um, and it'll just all line up perfectly. So you just keep bending like this we kind of stick it in the middle and then we push it in. If you find like this one being a little stubborn, um, try and kind of hold your reed with like your one finger and then kind of push the spoke down with the other. Um, you just kind of have to wiggle it a little bit in there to get it to stay, so like that. And not all of your spokes are going to be the same height um, just because that's just kind of what happens when you do it. Some of them, you know, they're not going to be exactly in the same spot, so that's okay. So you just kind of bend it and we keep going. And then like this one, you can see this is an example of how it wasn't quite rounded. So we just kind of take our finger and just bend it a little bit like that and there you go. It's more on the rounded side. So there's multiple different ways to you know end the basket and stuff like that. So if you have like a leader, if you guys are having like troop meetings on Zoom, or if any of your friends have previously taken the badge, there are different ways to end the basket. Um, there's different ways to even start the basket. So if you find yourself you know, wanting to try something different, you can ask around or um, look on YouTube and there's a bunch of different things. Basically, the goal is to make a basket. So it's whatever you make it. Um, as long as you have a completed basket at the end of the day, it's unique to you and it's cool. So something that I like to do with my baskets when I make them too, um, pretty much anything I do at camp, I like to put my name and then like initial the date on it. So when I'm done with this, I'll actually put my name on it. Um, this year you can write Camp On on it. That's pretty cool that this year you have a basket from Camp On. It's not like your usual, you know, camp when you'd be doing it. So it's a cool memory to have. Um, I actually keep mine on my desk and I put like pens and pencils in it and stuff. And it's a nice reminder of camp on the off season. So yeah, there you have it. And also, um, like since I am left-handed, um, if you guys have somebody who is right-handed in your house and you're confused, you probably would be better asking them how to do it. Um, but again, I'm still willing to, to answer all the questions on Zoom and such. Um, there might be another scout on the Zoom that you know had the same problem as you. So don't be afraid to ask the questions and stuff like that. Um, some scouts might have other tips too that they wanna share. So don't be afraid to ask your questions, okay?